channel, you're not gonna believe what happened. So we got the CR85 running and put it through some rides. And I'm talking like five or six rides. Took it real easy the first couple. Took it through the, the field, was heading back. And I did, I don't think I had a fully pin, but it, I tried to give it a little more throttle and it kind of, I heard it drop just a hair in RPM. So I let off the throttle and all of a sudden it started going like that. And I, as soon as I heard, I mean, it had to be like 15, 10 of those noises, like just a brrr, and I instantly hit the clutch and it went brrr, and then kind of like brrr, brrr, and just, it shut off smoothly, but it didn't seize up. Well, I'll show you guys what I found. All right, so I kind of questioned this to begin with. This is another one of those Vertex Pistons. And this is almost identical what happened to the last one. So when I took the thing apart, put it all back together, um, Luke at Luke's Racing told me to keep an eye or to look for any play in the connecting rod. Well, I, you could barely hear and barely feel, and I'm talking barely feel, any type of up and down play in the crank, or in the connecting rod. So, what, 13, 14,000 RPMs? These hit 12 to 14,000 RPMs, I guess. Uh, yeah, evidently that's enough. But the thing is, is I don't know what all these are from. I don't know what happened here because if I crank it over, the cylinder's completely fine. I mean, there's a, you can see a little bit of stuff here, but you can't feel anything there's nothing you can feel. So to me, cylinder's completely fine. Still perfect. And it's like that on both sides. So I think I definitely shut it off in the nick of time. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what it is other than the crank. I mean, it's gotta be the crank. So that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. I'm getting ready to pull the, uh, the, the cylinder off. And I wanted to do that on camera so you guys could see. Okay, so let's pull this thing off, see what happens. See if there's anything. Oh, definitely the crank. Look at all that copper. Yeah, cylinder is good to go. Thankfully, praise God. So I should have done a full rebuild, but here's the weird thing. Man, I cannot believe that. Let this be a testament, you guys, to Nicosil for one, and for two, I'm gonna have to also go with um, Luke's Racings. Remanufacturing technique. Oh man, it just. Oh my gosh, dude, it doesn't even want to pull up. Wow. Yeah, the crank is like straight up almost seized. How in the world? How did something. Well, I guess it makes sense if it's shot up through the transfer ports. So I'm still in like four stroke mode for my 250. <laughs> so, okay, so it looks like a new bottom end is what we're looking at. So that's good because to me, that's cheaper than getting another one of these cylinders. So I'm about to get a new piston and a new crank. Look at that. It's spinning the actual Oh. oh man, look at that. And Luke told me too, so let's keep an eye on that crank. So she's coming apart and that's it folks. Unbelievable. I mean, if you're just doing routine top end, you know, then it's 
not a big deal to uh, you know not do the crank uh, you know unless you know it's got a lot of hours on it yeah you can see the copper well that's good news to me so a piston and a crank obviously bearings for the crank ouch and that sucker sharp so that's it guys I'll keep you posted um, definitely gonna obviously gonna have to get like I said crank and a piston and uh, Praise God that it didn't destroy that cylinder. I mean, unbelievable. The damage that happened and that cylinder is perfect still. I would say 99.7% perfect. Which to me, that's perfect. <laughs> so, but I will keep you guys posted. I'm gonna hopefully be able to go up to the shop tomorrow and get these parts and uh, pull this thing apart I'm gonna pull the engine and then uh, get it pulled apart in the morning and then go get the crank and hopefully have it back together and running by tomorrow evening so I'm gonna get this thing done and uh, yeah have at it so alright guys thanks for watching uh, like I said I'll keep you posted if you guys aren't subscribed hit the subscribe button and the alert bell that way you can come on back check out what we got going on always uh, working on uh, some type of engine or machine power sports like I said, you know I fix stuff to ride it so and when you ride it unfortunately, you know sometimes it breaks and Obviously, it's you know from something that was just miscalculated. So but yeah fixing uh, fixing things to ride I'm here so but uh, all right, we'll see you guys in the next video Don't forget to smash the like button and we'll, like I said, we'll see you guys in the next video. So take care. Come on back God bless See you in the next video.